All right, here is your assignment. Uh, thank you all for being so good for Senior Celsius. I didn't get anybody's name written down uh, while I was gone. Uh, and, you know, that's what I expect. So here's your assignment. It's called Sign Up. Uh, maybe something else in here. Schoology, but here you go. Uh, so on the top, I always like to make some notes so I don't forget, so I don't have to look back in my journal. Okay? Uh, so on the top, I've uh, got that, that outside number, also known as the divisor. Uh, it has to be a whole number. And the inside number, also known as the dividend. Uh, whatever we did to the outside, we have to do to the inside. we got to treat everybody fair. And then I wanted to tell Senior Celsius, thank you, just in case uh, he decides to get on YouTube and watch this. So um, we're going to do this whole page, all right? Uh, it's not bad. It looks like it might be, uh, but it's not. Um, because once you change, uh, I'm going to erase this right here so I have some space. Uh-oh, I just broke my uh, thing, so hang on. All right, my, uh, my stylus broke. So uh, we're going to start uh, with the letter I. Um, as you get an answer, you look up top uh, and find that answer, and then you put the letter... Uh, of the problem that you just solved. Okay, so the first uh, problem is negative uh, six tenths divided by positive three. So think about our rules. We have a negative and a positive. Those eyes look busted, so we're sad. All right, so our answer is going to be negative. <clears throat> okay, so we've already determined that. Now we don't have to mess with the signs anymore. Negative six tenths divided by three. So we're taking negative 6 tenths, or just 6 tenths, because we've already got the sign, and we're dividing it into three equal parts. Uh, decimals, think about money. You're taking 60 cents, taking 60 cents and dividing it between three people. Okay, that you could maybe be able to do in your head. All right, so 6 tenths, uh, oops, yeah, divided by 3. All right, so this is an easy one. You don't even have to um, move a decimal because it's already a whole number. Uh, put that um, do, 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 decimal straight up into your answer, and 3 goes into 6 uh, twice. Well, that was easy. Okay, so that was, uh, I guess I should multiply just to be sure. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, and there's nothing left over. So it is negative 2 tenths. So you go up here and find negative 2 tenths. Uh, oh, there it is. Negative 2 tenths right there. And you write the letter I up there. There we go. It's going to be like an answer to a riddle. Okay. Uh, let's go to um, something that you're probably going to think is really crazy hard. Let's go to A. A. So we have negative 2 and 274 thousandths divided by 6 thousandths. So think about your rules. I got a negative and a positive. Those eyes don't look very good, so we're probably sad. So the answer or quotient is going to be negative. So remember, the first number that you say whenever it's written in this form uh, is what's getting divided. And what's getting divided is the number on the inside. So 2.274 is getting divided by 0 0.006. We don't need that zero at the beginning. It doesn't do us any good. Okay? So, outside number has to be a whole number. So, I'm going to go one, two, three. Be fair. Whatever you do to the outside, do to the inside. One, two, three. And so, the new problem is 2,274 divided by six. All right? So, let's work this out. Uh, 6 goes into 2, 0 times. 6 goes into 22. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. So it has to be 3. 6 times 3 is 18. We're going to subtract. We have 4 left over. Bring that 7 down. Uh, 6 going into 47. Uh, well, 6 times 7... Well, 6 times 6, I, I know my doubles. 6 times 6 is 36. So 6 times 7 is 42. And 6 times 8 is 48. So it's got to be 7. 6 times 7 is 42. I'm going to subtract. 47 minus 42 
is 5. Bring that 4 down. <clears throat> uh, we just said that 6 times 8 was 48. So that means 6 times 9 uh, is 6 more than that is 54. So it's 379. Okay, because it goes into there evenly, I'm, a, I'm out of space, so I can't write down there. Okay, uh, 379 is letter A. But we already wrote the negative sign, so that helps us. Uh, so now we have to find that number. And oh, there it is, the letter A. Oh, and it looks like it's on all of them. So we need to find negative 379 on all of them and put the letter A. So there's not just one. So you have to go through each one and find negative 379. I did not know that. Here's another one. Okay. Um, so let's do let's do one more. Um, Let's do, let's see here, let's, let's do this one right here. Let's do letter E, letter E. I think that one may throw you off a little bit. So it looks like this is a negative here, that's a negative there. So we have a negative times a negative, be happy. So our answer is going to be positive, so we don't have to worry about the signs anymore. The number that's getting divided into equal parts is the 3.2, 3 and 2 tenths, divided by decimal 0, 0, 4. All right, so that outside number, the divisor, has to be a whole number. So I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3. I have to do the same thing to the inside. Okay, 1, 2, 3. So we've got some empty spaces. I'm going to put zeros in those spaces. 3,200 divided by 4. So we take this difficult division and we just make it simpler for us. Okay? Um, and this is an easy problem right here. So you may already know 4 goes into how many times 4 goes into 32. But let's just work through it. 4 goes into 3 zero times. There's my reminder to multiply after. 4 goes into 32. Um, what, 8 times? 8 times. So 4 times 8 is 32. So here is what you can't do. You can't, you can't stop. Okay, it's not 8. You still have these two other places to go into. How many times does 4 go into 0? Zero? 0. Okay, we got to do it again. How many times does 4 go into 0? Zero? 0. So the answer is, sorry, so the answer is 800. You have to divide every single place and put a value. Okay, so 800, uh, which one was that? That was E. 800 times. So we're going to put a letter E everywhere we find an 800. There's probably quite a few. I think that's the most popular number in the number letter in the English language. Maybe an S. No, it's probably an E. 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 Good golly. E. And there's another one. Oh, yes, there's another one. Okay. All right. I know it looks like a lot of work, but once you move those decimals, it turns into pretty simple division. Okay, make sure that you follow, follow along with whatever your teacher requires you. Um, I'm having my class do the whole page uh, because we just need the work on this. Um, and if we finish this page and get a lot of good practice, then we'll be masters. Have a good day.